Amen. The brothers, brother George, can you just please come forward for me here, brother Dan as well? Because some would say, well, I do not have clothes. The church needs to look like this for the brothers. This is how they need to look like. But some would say, well, I do not have suits. Suits are expensive. This is a good look. There's no excuses when it comes to look. Yeah. This is our own African look, a very good look. The only thing we don't want is for you to come with a shot. Because the shot, you know, reveals the body. And that body is exactly what the sisters are looking at. When the sister see that and then the brother, you know, for some reason comes here at the front, begins speaking in tongues or begins prophesying or begins actually preaching the word in power. The sisters get knocked off. They get knocked off. That's a bonus. Wow. He has a good body. And to top it all, he's spiritual. It confuses the sisters. Automatically, they picture that one as a husband material. They do not care whether he's married or single. If he's married, okay, it's a struggle. Like Brother George would be cut off a bit. But he's not off limits. <laughs> Hallelujah. But if he's unmarried, like Brother Dan, and you see how powerful Brother Dan prays. Hey. If he can prophesy or speak in tongues. You see the brothers today, actually, you know, they, they, they are so, you know, <laughs> they are so manipulative that you will see a brother is on the phone. He's busy dialing on the phone. And at the same time, he's speaking in tongues. Up, 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 up. And the sisters, you know, actually get amazed by this kind of thing. They're like, wow, the brother is in the spirit. The fool is not in the spirit. How can he be in the flesh at the same time typing and then be speaking in tongues? He's deceiving you. The Bible says, beloved, do not believe every spirit, but test every spirit. This is a model of modesty. 